Craig, good to see you. Hi. Oh, Miss Kitty, what's this baby here for today? Well, I think she's got ear mites. She's oh, been no. shaking her head a lot and scratching at her ears. How long has she been doing this? Well, she's been working on them for about two weeks now. She had a similar problem last year, treated mm -hmm. with medication I bought from a pet store. This year, she seems to be getting worse. Isn't Miss Kitty totally an indoor kitty and an only fur child at home? Yes, she is. Why do you ask? Well, if she's an only child and she doesn't go outside, it's not impossible that she has ear mites, but it seems less likely. You also mentioned she had a similar problem last year around this time. Well, I read on the internet it says that ear mites can cause black junk in cats' ears. Look, what a horrible buildup. I agree. Yes, ear mites can cause this, but so can a lot of other conditions. And I'm concerned that there might be a seasonal problem with this, an allergy, for instance, because she had the same problem last year. Now, ears are just skin stuck inside the body, and there's only so many ways that skin can react to an irritant. Ears oftentimes will produce more wax. Now you add to it a little bit of dust, a little bit of dirt, and all this wax, and what do you get? Voila! Black, crumbly debris. Hmm. Well, how can you determine what her problem is? What I'm going to do is take a swab of some of this debris, check it under the microscope, if I don't see mites, I'll take another swab and send it to the lab and have it cultured. I want to see if there's any bacteria or fungus in it, and that'll help me determine what's the right medication to use. Now, you mentioned allergies. Mm -hmm. What could she be allergic to? Well, cats and dogs can be allergic to everything that you and I are, and then some. She could be allergic to things that are in the house, something that's backyard, or even something that flies in the air from 10 miles away. She can even be allergic to what she's been eating. But she's always been an indoor cat, and she's always had the same food. And uh, why wouldn't I have seen this two or three years ago, these symptoms? Well, cats like you and I can grow into allergies. So even though she's totally an indoor cat, you open up doors, you open up windows, and what happens? The air from the outside comes in complete with dust and allergens. And even if she's been eating the same food, or you go from one major brand of food to another, they all have about the same ingredients. So it has little mm. difference in what they're consuming. Ear problems, if not treated promptly and correctly, can lead to irreversible loss of hearing. Does your pet have an ear problem? Just ask your veterinarian. I'm Dr. Bernadine Cruz. Stay tuned for more Pet Care TV.